Hey guys, we're back and believe it or not, this is a second Stitch Fix for the month of August and I believe this is the second month in a row that I've gotten two Stitch Fixes within the same month. I'm a little confused about that. Uh, is it because I did Style Pass? I don't know. Either way, um, things are going to get a little funky with my Stitch Fix ordering for the next couple of months because of some road trips that Mike and I have planned. So I'm just going to go ahead and take advantage of the fact I got to this month and because in the next couple of months I'm gonna have to purposely ask them to delay a lot of my boxes while we go on vacation or attempt to go on vacation anyway. So with that being said, let's go ahead and dive on into this box. So for those of you who are unaware, Stitch Fix is a monthly or I don't know, bi-weekly sometimes, uh, clothing subscription service and you pay $20 for a styling fee unless you're on style pass, which is what I'm on, which is why I've already kind of forgotten how much I'm supposed to be paying for this monthly styling fee. Um, if you do style pass, you don't pay any styling fee, you just pay $50 for a whole year. Um, and either way, you get a stylist and you put in all your parameters of like things you don't like and what you like and your sizing. For example, I have short legs and I'm long waisted and I'm also a little bit curvy. So that's a lot for my stylist to try and figure out. Um, and you can request specific, you know, things or themes every month, if you will. So for example, this month, I'm not super big into athleisure wear, but I did kind of request it. I asked for some comfy road trip clothes slash we're going to be doing a lot of hiking. Um, so I told her like, this is probably like the one time I'd be asking for athleisure type stuff. So yeah, we're going to be on this journey together. I don't typically wear athleisure just around the house. So yeah. Anyways, let's dive on in. I think I already said dive on in. I don't know. Let's actually see what's in the box now that I've told you what Stitch Fix is. I do believe I stuck with Holly, which she's been like my fourth stylist for those of you who are not following along at home. Um, I did like her box last month and I didn't really have, uh, didn't really have any reason not to pick Holly. So yeah. The first thing that I see in my box is the note for my stylist along with uh, everything they pick for me and their suggestions on how to style everything. So that's what this card looks like. Now let's read what my stylist said. Hi Amanda, thank you for your feedback and for your specific request. How fun to be road tripping there. Uh, I mentioned we were gonna be like South Dakota, Montana, there's another state in there that we're going to. We're slash we're road tripping from North Texas to South Dakota. So we're going to be seeing a lot of stuff. As requested, I am sending some comfortable warmer items for the trip. First, let me know what you think of the burgundy leggings with the light blue pullover for hiking through the woods and the mountains. If you want a more relaxed feel, try on the dark gray joggers instead. Finally, let me know what you think of the adorable distressed jeans with an off white elbow patch pullover. For some reason, that was a tongue twister for me. <laughs> I truly hope that this is what you're looking for for this fix and that these are items that you will love for your trip. As always, please leave feedback for each item so I can send pieces you'll just simply love. Would you like more pieces like this for your trip or some other items? Let me know. All the very best, Holly. Okay, so just off the bat, I definitely see some stuff that unless it's insanely cheap, I would pretty much never wear. But we'll go ahead and show you guys what those are. Stitch Fix is kind of nice because it does help you to kind of get out of your comfort zone or maybe find your styles that you like. So this is what our bundle looks like, which is pretty thick, but like there's, there's a good size sweater in there. Okay. Oh, I guess something I didn't mention. If you don't like anything in your Stitch Fix, you don't have to keep it all. You only pay for what you love and everything else you send back in a prepaid mailer. So that's, you know, Something important, I guess, if you've never watched a Stitch Fix watching video. So the thing that is on top and that was grabbing my eye, ooh, is this sweater. It is very cute. It's a little wrinkly, but thank goodness I got some crease release in my FabFitFun, am I right? And it has these uh, kind of felty, suede uh, elbow patches, elbow patches? <laughs> That's hard to say for some reason. It's, I would probably have to layer it because, you know, that's pretty thin, but that would be really cute. 
for like those cold mornings because we found this really cute Airbnb out in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by horses and cows, and it has a patio, and we're just gonna drink a lot of coffee and watch the sunrise over the mountains. I'm, I'm really excited for this vacation, if you can't tell. Anyways, the next item I see is this, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a zip up, it's uh, light, it's blue, it's, in my opinion, really boring. It's by Northbound. We'll try it on because that's, that's what you do in these videos, but I'm, I'm not in love with it. But to be fair, I've literally never have asked for anything athleisure wear before. And usually when I do the daily style quiz, it's like, just get anything athleisure wear just away from me. I hate it, I don't want it. So Holly's doing her best. The next item I'm seeing are the jeans she referenced, which these are pretty cute. I don't have anything quite this color or this style at the moment. So we'll have to try them on and see how they fit. And they're stretchy, which is great because I'm, I'm a little curvy. So I like stretchy pants as long as they're not too stretchy, if that makes sense. Anyway, the next item I am seeing, are the gray sweatpants um yeah i don't i don't know how i feel about them it, so there's a waistband at the top with a drawstring and then they're also cuffed around the ankles like they're gonna have to be insanely comfy like the inside isn't like fleecy or anything i'm not i'm just not thrilled about them and again, I don't like to look at the invoice until the end. I like to have my opinions not dictated by a dollar value of these clothes, because, <laughs> yeah, anyways. And then the last thing are a pair of leggings. Now these are actually kind of cute. So they're kind of this purpley color, and they have this detail around the uh, end of the leg, which I'm guessing this is gonna end maybe just after the knee on me. We'll have to try them on and see, but these are very, very cute. Uh, something that I do kind of miss about Nadine West, even though, well, what I miss about Nadine West is they did send a lot of leggings, even though they were typically really cheap leggings that fell apart really fast. So I will say I do miss some of the leggings. So these might be a nice, what's replacement? That's the word I was looking for. Uh, if they work out. So anyways, let's go try all this on. Okay, so first we're gonna start by talking about the sweater. So I really like the fit and feel of it. It's a little bit loose, it's really good for layering. Um, this isn't gonna be something where like, I wouldn't be able to wear it without a layer if it were actually cold, like around freezing. But for something that's like, for fall weather, I think this is perfect. And I did end up just wearing a plain black camisole underneath. Um, the only downside I really see to this sweater is the fact that it is white and I am clumsy. So that could potentially be a bad thing, but otherwise I actually, I'm just like in love with this sweater. I did pair it with the pants that it came with, which I will just pan down to the pants here in a second. So the pants I have some issues with. One, they are super tight. I don't know if I just need to go into my style profile and, and like, break down and say I'm like now size I think 10. I think I had on there that I was a size 8. Two, they don't have real pockets in the front. Um, these are definitely very much more like jeggings than they are jeans in my opinion. Um, I don't hate the style but they are just so tight and they're, they're the kind that I feel like I could very easily get shrub rub through the pant material if that's something that's ever happened to you please raise your hand like if you've been personally victimized by chub rub through the pants. So I'm not super huge fan of the pants, but I do really like the color of them and the idea of them. I just don't think this personal pair was executed well. Let's go try on some other stuff. All right, so I know I saw this top. I like got it out of the box and I was like, thanks, I hate it. But I think I understand why people like athleisure wear now. This is actually really, really cute. Um, I didn't realize this when I unboxed it, but it has these cute little thumb holes. I didn't think this was gonna be warm because it's super thin, but it is super warm. Granted, like, so this it's late August in Texas as I'm filming this, and we're kind of cheap about our air conditioning, so I'm actually sweating bullets right now. So I'm gonna try and make this a little fast. Do I love this? Yes, I'm surprised about it. 
but it's very much going to be a question of price point um, because something that Walmart I think actually excels at, shocking, I know, is athleisure wear. And I feel like this is something I could get, I could get something very similar to this at Walmart. So we'll see, um, but don't be surprised if I end up returning it because I feel like I could get something for cheaper at Walmart. And I'm not, you know, I don't have a whole thing about or against shopping at Walmart if the quality is good and the price is right. Anyways, let's talk about the pants. So I was a little surprised about these pants. I didn't think I would like them, but here I am again, eating my own words. So I really like the pockets. Um, the proportions on me, I don't think are quite right as to what they would be on maybe someone who doesn't have short legs. I feel like they would be baggier down here because of the cuff. Oh, excuse me. I do need a new pair of sweatpants because I really only have like one pair and they're getting very holy. <laughs> and I do like these, but again, it's gonna be a question of price point. Uh, I did show this outfit to Mike as I show all the outfits to Mike and he thought that my stylist got me pajamas. So I think what Styling's reasoning here was, Holly Styling, did I say that correctly? Holly Styling, um, I think the reason why she decided this is because I mentioned something comfy for when we're actually like driving in the car might be super nice. Um, because you know, I'm not gonna be dressed to impress if we're just gonna be driving. We're gonna be driving for like two days there and back. So uh, yeah, anyways, cute, but not sure it's a keeper. So here are the second pair of pants that I was sent. So something that might be hard to show at this angle and I might have to show at another angle. I have what I affectionately call German lady calves. They've always been just kind of thick, a little juicy. I like to think of them as muscular, but um, you know, who knows what the truth is anymore. So these pants are like mega tight. Um, like they're not uncomfortable, but they're just, they're very, very tight. And I like the detail down here, but they just don't work for my legs or at least not in this capacity. And again, I'll try to show a different angle. Um, my calves at like, they kind of look like they're like hulking out, whether it's hulking because of muscle or because of fat, we won't, we won't discuss that. It's fine. Um, so these are probably unfortunately getting returned, but something that I thought was a cool detail that I didn't want to mention, it was written in the label on the back on the inside, and I didn't see it originally when I opened them up uh, out of the box, is that these pants, it said something like these pants save bottles from landfills or something like that, which is interesting, don't get me wrong, but, um, and I like that, I like that a lot, but unfortunately these pants just don't work for me. So let's go look at the invoice. Okay, let's look at this invoice. So the pants that I'm wearing right now are $38, which, whoo, that is pricey for athleisure wear, um, which we already discussed, I'm returning those. And here comes Sophie's, uh, you know, just a normal visit. It's kind of like Blue's Clues, like you get the visit from the mailman, or I guess maybe I've heard now it's not a mailman anymore, it's email, I don't know. But this is the time where Sophie likes to interrupt my video and yell at me for not paying attention to her. Anyways, the, this one I'm wearing right here, that is $65. So this is getting returned, but I will be on the lookout for something similar at Walmart. No wonder it looks so good, am I right? Uh, yeah, $65 is way out of my price range, so, Holly tried, but, and actually, if it were cheaper, if it were like 20 bucks, I'd probably keep it. But it is not $20, it is much more than $20. The other sweatpants that she gave me were $30, closer to my price range. Still could probably get something cheaper at Walmart. Um, yeah, you know, not in love with them, so those are getting returned. The pants, uh, those were a size eight, if I did keep them, I would definitely size up for a size 10. Uh, they are only $40, which is really good for pants, but I wasn't in love with how, like, how cheap they felt, and I felt like they were going to fall apart. So those are getting sent back, um, but they were only $40, like I mentioned. And then lastly, the sweater that I tried on was $46, and I was surprised by that because um, normally when stylists or when the stylist, the FabFitFun, not the FabFitFun, this is Stitch Fix, I'm sorry. Normally when my Stitch Fix stylist sends me sweaters, 
they're normally money. <laughs> so $46 isn't that bad of a price for that sweater. So we learned a lot of things from this box, or at least maybe I learned a lot of things about athleisure wear and what works for my body, which is one of the nice things about Stitch Fix. One last thing I will mention before we close out this video is uh, if you are interested in trying Stitch Fix, I will have my code down in the description box below. Basically, you get 25% uh, in your brain. You get 20 or $25 off, and I, in turn, get 20 or $25. Um, and if you're interested, again, check out that code below. And uh, if you liked this video, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please consider doing all the things that the YouTube algorithm likes that promotes my video to other viewers, such as liking and sharing and subscribing and notification bells, et cetera, et cetera. Anyways, thanks so much for watching and stay safe out there.